Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. League One, a few games got postponed, you know, and a few did go ahead. Um, so there is a few results to talk about. One of the results I'm delighted about um, for this certain club, I've always said I do want them to get out of the relegation zone. Um, and thankfully due to a late winner um they're now on um you know in the positive points position um i guess you know who i'm talking about but i'll get more down to that team in a minute um but as i said a few games called off international call ups um which annoyed me a bit because of how low the leagues are and um, how obviously these players are playing in League One and they're getting international call ups. I know some countries can't help it, um, but it's still annoying me just a little bit. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what I'm trying to do? Try to get to a thousand subs come at the end of the season. The best way you can help me do that is by sharing my channel, letting people know about my channel, sharing my videos as well. Um, but guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is that for Drew Studley versus Bolton Wanderers. Um, now, Aqua Drew Stanley lost 1-0 away to Wolverham. Um, but it's Bolton I want to talk about. It's Bolton, who I was just talking about, if you didn't know. Um, beating MK Dolls 1-0 and um, now got one point after doing their 12 points deduction um, and things are looking up for Bolton um, which I am happy to say uh, I have got family up there I've been to the University of Bolton Stadium quite a few times I do like going to visit stadiums when I'm you know out of my town Oh, trust me, I do like visiting my own stadium as well. Um, but it's just nice to... I think... Let's just put on the other foot for a minute and let's say Bolton did get saved. I think it would have been a great shame on the town of Bolton overall because I know the football community up in Bolton brings a lot of joy to a lot of you. Um, Plus the stadium disappearing, um, that's a great part of history up in Bolton. Um, you know, how long it's been there. You've got to also think what's happened to Bolton um, ever since being born um, as a club. I mean, okay, I've had not some nice times with likes of Bruce Man, but fortunately he came back. Um, you know, Reebok Stadium, which was the very first time I'm visiting that stadium, that's what it was called. And the name changes has just gone for over the past few years. Um, but that stadium has got a lot of history. I'm glad Bolton are now in the positive points position. And I'm also um, glad to see a bit saved as well. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Bolton win over four points. Um, after the 3 o'clock uh, Saturday game from Bolton. Um, my next one is AFC Wimbledon versus Gillingham. AFC Wimbledon losing 2 0 away to Black, uh, Blackpool. Um, I think Gillingham's game got postponed. Um, but I'll clearly talk about the. Yeah, I'll just bend you on. Sorry. Um, I think, you know, where's Wimbledon going um, over the, this season? I think it's very bleak. Um, and what I mean by that word is very down. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 0 Gillingham win. My next one is Fleetwood versus 
uh, Tramiel. Tramiel is a 2 0 at home to Wickham. Gillingham beating Lincoln at home 1 0. Um, some disappointing news coming out of Tramiel um, about Hyperphobe. I do not condemn hyperphobe racism, none of it. It should not be in this day and age. It should not, you know, be happening at all. Um, I don't see the funny side of it. I don't see the point in it, to be honest. I think now's the time to start stamping out our game over you know let's just stamp out no need for it um but we could did come out on the top of that game and as i said i just i don't think there's no need for it at all and um, why do we do it i'm one that don't do it um you know i'm from brighton so you guess our um rivals are crystal palace um, I'm I'm never, a, uh, you know, racist or homophobe or, you know, all these things, guys. I know it's hard, but think about what you're doing. Um, but yeah, don't don't it anyway. Please stamp it out. Um, and let's come together and let's try and make English football a better place for young kids as well. Don't forget, young kids are here and there's young kids are at our games and um, let's think of them and let's think about our future as well um, but as far as this one goes I'll go for a 3-1 scoreline for that one my next one is Ittridge versus Blackpool Blackpool 2-0 winners over Wimbledon Ittridge game postponed post play Oxford great three points for Blackpool just going to give you the result for this one and I'll go for a 1 1 scoreline for that one. My next one is MK Dons versus Rotherham. Um, MK Dons losing to Bolton 1 0 away from home. Rotherham beating up because Stanley 1 0 at home. Um, you know, very um, confidence levels for both teams going into this game. Uh, But, you know, confidence, unless you keep winning on the bounce, confidence really means nothing, uh, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but, you know, as well as, um, you know, Bolt, um, Wolfram and MK Don's, uh, two great teams, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2 now Wolverham win. My next one is Peace Brough versus Burton Albion. Uh, I ain't got neither team, so I've gone for a 1 0 Peace Brough win. My next one is Watchdale versus Portsmouth. Um, Watchdale losing 2 1 away to Coventry. Portsmouth game to span international call ups. Um, so, yeah, again, just going to give you the result. And I've gone for a 1 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Shrewsbury versus Bristol Rovers. Um, Bristol Rovers game to span, supposed to play some of the international call ups. Same with Shrewsbury. So, yeah, again, just going to give you the result. And I've gone for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. Um, my next one is Southend versus Oxford. Um, Oxford's post play Ittridge game postponed. Um, so, yeah, again, just going to give you the result, and I'll go for a 2 0 Oxford win for that one. Um, my next one is Sunderland versus Coventry. Uh, Coventry beat and watched out 2 1. 
Sunderland game postponed. Great three points for Coventry. Going into this game, it's going to be a really good game. I wish I could actually be there and watch this one. The lower leagues. Um, but um, I can't, so. But as a result, goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Coventry City win. My next one and my last one for this weekend is Wickham Wanderers versus uh, Doncaster Rovers. Um, Wickham Wanderers beating Tramia 2 0 away from home. Um, so, yeah, again, um, games called off international call ups. So I've gone for a 3 0 Wickham Wanderers win. But anyway, guys. You know what to do, give us a big crap up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.